David, standing downtown in Olympia, it looks beautiful. It looks like a winter wonderland, something out of a movie, but it is so cold here. I just checked. It's in the low 20s. It feels like it's much colder, and we have seen the effects that this weather has had on the community here in Western Washington all week with the snow and the ice. Luckily, right now, here in Olympia, roads are clear, but there are concerns as we're getting closer to the weekend for freezing rain, which could cause so many headaches. We spoke with officials with the National Weather Service about what the impacts could be on our community. We already have some wet snow already in place. I drove in this morning and there was wet snow already on the trees and branches overlaying some of those power lines. And with freezing rain on top of that, le leading to heavier amounts and, and weight on those branches, that will be a concern. We'll also see the wind spike up in certain areas, especially up north and towards the foothills during this time period. So the combination of really just the freezing rain, but also maybe some winds in some areas, for, for sure the power, power outage potential is high. You hear him talking about those branches breaking and heavy winds and power outages already this week. So many people have dealt with outages. If that freezing rain does come and creates more power outages, it could lead to a lot of issues going into the holiday weekend. We spoke to some officials with PSE about what you need to know if you're affected by any power outages. If you see a down power line, never touch or go within 35 feet of those. Um, you can call PSC or 911 to report issues with that. Um, if your power does go out, don't use charcoal or gas grills to cook indoors. Never use a natural gas range for heating or charcoal as an indoor heating source, as those can build up a um, poisonous carbon monoxide gas. Here I'm talking about never having a generator inside of the home because of that carbonous or excuse me, that carbon monoxide gas, it's something that could be very dangerous and even deadly. They also suggest making sure that you have an emergency kit, things like uh, batteries, flashlights, candles, if you do lose power. We'll be keeping a close eye on this weather that is expected to come later this week. We'll be out here as well talking about the other effects that freezing rain could have on your holiday weekend. Reporting live in Olympia, I'm AJ Janiva for Fox 13 News.